Next up is Known Foundation. Um, hi everyone, my name is Brian Washington. And for those of you that don't know me, I am the head of product at the No Foundation, where we are currently laying the foundation for the decentralized metaverse. So over 20 years ago, uh, humanity ventured off into the World Wide Web, uh, and essentially where economies were thriving and knowledge was booming. Uh, this happened on an asynchronous web. So there was a challenge. Um, this challenge was essentially a siloed information and it was only a read-write. So now we have a value uh, aspect included into that. Uh, so for this revolution to happen, we needed a new fundamental structure uh, to perform live communications, uh, which is essentially incredibly intense and computing advanced as well as costly. So um, uh, we wanted to focus on productivity, which is essentially uh, transforming the way that we learn, the way that we play, the way that we work, the way that we communicate. Um, and we look to start the No Foundation. Uh, the No Foundation is established to bring the world a set of fundamental protocols and technologies to build the world's m largest massive metaverse supercomputer, decentralized on many thousands of nodes, supporting live compute needs and communications in an infinitely scalable data redundancy and secure manner. To take this task on, We've hired a group of engineers and technology visionaries uh, have partnered together to create these protocols and systems that will allow everyone to gauge and engage in this revolution, allow everyone to generate value. And we are uh, essentially fortunate to be creating these group of nodes together, allowing everyone to generate value and use the no net the no coin. Uh, we are proud to use Polygon as our preferred partner, which will essentially be helping us uh, with a couple years of development technology, saving us time, performance, security. Uh, here we essentially have the no net node. Uh, at the top we have our no browser and no extension, which will be the user interface platform. And they will be able to uh, use the SDK kit, which is essentially a stack of dApps and how they'll be inter able to interact, uh, coming up with the term dApps all the way down, so it's a layering system. And we will also be uh, allowing uh, companies to uh, launch with the WebGL format. Other uh, companies such as Unreal, Unity, and soon other platforms will also be able to create their own metaverse construct. So we here have two main smart contracts, the first being the MNS, which is analogous to the DNS of Web 2.0, um, which will allow the registration of domains that resolve to a decentralized node on the network. The second is the tracker smart contract. This will essentially be the discovery layer and the load balancer uh, for the network to assign tasks and to communicate with workloads. Uh, this will allow the users to contribute these underlying services from WebRTC, uh, Inference, CDN, Proxy, and many more to come on the network. Our first commercial uh, provider is TouchCast, uh, a world leader in the enterprise metaverse. They have uh, been selected as the first registrar of the .metaverse domain, uh, and we are very excited for all these brands to be joining their .metaverse journey. So similar to peer-to-peer -peer networks, your entire compute resource, which might include other microservices, as you can see here at the bottom, uh, will be integrated into the user experience where they can be sharing these resources and be receiving the no coin uh, and be able to be generating value. So not only will they be hosting, but they will be uh, experiencing as well. So hopefully you'll be seeing this, or you will, on Windows, Apple, Linux, and our mobile applications on iOS and Android are looking promising as well. And as we have shown that Polygon is our partner, they have launched the Polygon Edge, which is an integral part in making sure that the no coin stands on its own and will be able to generate lots of 
value for enterprises and for users as well. So we chose the term no because the future of the metaverse will run on knowledge and the primary uh, token for this will be the no. We are very glad that we are working with Polygon, uh, some of the world's biggest companies that help push this decentralized dream forward to create an infinitely scalable universe in this new world upon us. What a time to be alive. Join us. Thank you. Questions? Um, but essentially, um, I'm very excited to be a part of this, um, this new initiative. I think that the metaverse is a very, uh, can be a very loose term. We have companies such as Meta, Microsoft, Sandbox, Decentraland. These are all basically a hybridized, centralized version of a metaverse. So what the No Foundation really aims to do is be, be uh, the first ones to be creating the set of protocols that can help developers, companies enter. And we're very excited to be a part of this. So if something like this interests you, uh, please reach out to me. Um, this is our team, if we still have the slide. But we're disconnected. All good. Perfect. Um, so this is our team of visionaries and uh, tech entrepreneurs. Um, we are a robust team and we are always looking to grow. And I think that uh, for many people looking to get into the space, I think we keep seeing the stats. It's like under 20,000 developers of 29 million developers. So keep, uh, keep pulling the string and the thread for all the developers that you know to get into Web3, blockchain development. Um, and if they are interested, of course, have them reach out to me. And we also have a QR code. So scan that. Um, that will take you directly to, your, to our website. Um, I am also on the Twitter, and you can check me out there. Um, just trying to be a voice in the space, I think that that's important. I think it's very um, indicative that we are all here today to be growing in this bear market, and this is the best time to be building. So thank you very much for your time, and we'll take questions. Correct. So for the metaverse itself, is that in the same way that, have you interacted with Sandbox, for example? So Sandbox itself is not necessarily writing itself to a blockchain. It just kind of has these NFT pieces that are being built. So in the same way, um, the best example is using the dot metaverse as the example is that that is an NFT, that it is written on the blockchain that then will open up a packet that is WebGL or uh, Unity 3D files. So in, in a sense, it can look like a visual world, but the dot metaverse will actually be um, a resolving decentralized experience. So for many things, it still could represent itself as DeFi, but then DeFi could be integrating into a more metaverse experience. Yes. That's a good question. The question was, does dot metaverse link up to the ENS? So for those of you that don't know, the ENS is the Ethereum name service, which is essentially if you see the nice little dot ETH, that means that you have a human readable address to your wallet address. So similar, what we are aiming for is a dot metaverse does resolve on IPFS, um, meaning the decentralized database. Uh, it is no relation to the ENS, but it mirrors a similar sense of um, finder, per se. Like the DNS, this is the MNS, so the metaverse name service. This is actually going to allow people to also trade a, a metaverse, let's say, that you create and design as a customer and be able to sell that or market that. And then for an enterprise who sort of already has claimed a dot-com space such as Nike, Microsoft, Gucci, they will have Nike dot metaverse 
that you will then, hopefully at a future state, it can just load into a natural Google browser, but in the initial states, you'll need a plugin or our native browser. Thank you. Yes. Yes, so great question. I think that's definitely why we went with Polygon. Um, and we are very excited once they launched Polygon Edge, which is essentially giving you these out-of-the-box tools to essentially scale your own blockchain, which then you could make that quite interoperable between uh, other blockchains. Um, even though Polygon does run on an EVM, um, we do have the intentions to be making that um, blockchain agnostic, let's say. But for our first proof of concept, it'll definitely be on Polygon. Thank you all very much for your time.